Hello, I'm the Eternal Newbie. The extra L is for load. Because right now, as you can see, I have loaded up our control or I'm gonna adjust my volume just a little bit. You may have seen my other playthrough of this. It's a pretty good game and I am a huge fan of Star Control. But I finished it. And it was cool and all, but I finished it. So recently, I have purchased the expansion pack. I did the first thing on Twitch quite a while ago. I mean, from where I'm at, it's not quite a while ago because right now it's like October. But I know I'm not going to upload this thing till like December. So, how is life in the future? Have they invented flying cars yet? Let me know in the comments. So played a little bit of it. It's a good game. I enjoy the sense of humor in this. And I actually don't stink at it, so that's even better. Although these like long times right here, I guess they're good practice for me to um, talk. Maybe not say um as often. Probably shouldn't have pointed that out because now you'll be listening for it. Stuff like that. So one of those aliens, the Arlalu, who are actually in the original Star Control. I'm not sure how these people got away with that. I guess the same way they got away with the name. Told me to come here and look for an ally. They also insulted me. Well, I guess the ally's right there. Let's see what we got. They don't look like that great an ally, but maybe. I guess I'll explore some of these planets. Uh oh, oh no, I don't want to explore this star. Brown dwarf. Hey now, I'm pretty sure brown dwarf is not a planet. It's very cold for a star though. A lot of gravity. Okay. No landable surface. Yeah. It's a gas giant. Brown dwarfs aren't stars. Shows you what I know. Okay, so, loading screen. I'll give it a couple of minutes. How are you guys? Oh, here we go. What is... What is... What? Oh, that was a chair. I thought that was an alien. Well, that's not creepy. No. They will feed on us and chew on us and exhale gas as they digest us. So you're gonna make me burp? Is that what you're saying? Unless we flee, which we probably will not in lieu of dangling. Is this how you greet everybody? Gently. Someone dangle near the children to what? keep them quiet. What? Uh, it's okay, man. We're friends. The Mamgoosh are never Mamgoosh? Only Goosh are friends. Really need to work on a universal translator, I'm thinking. Survey of Goose Levels Friendly is now completed. Yeah, let's move on. Exhausting to even think of. Is that why you're talking so slow? Ugh, whatever. We're humans. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet us. I think the Arlu are messing with us. Okay, and you're the Gloosh, I guess. Oh my gosh. You know, technically looking at you, you don't look like you're on a planet. I mean, maybe I'm crazy. Safety and casual flopping is all over. Got it. I'm not going to eat you. Look at you, you're all skin and bones anyway. Really? Alright. Would you be willing to ally out with us? No, let's hear about them. Oh my gosh. Because I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess, and I want to listen to this conversation that's taking forever. Hey, we like to meet new aliens. Oh my gosh. We're not a predator. 
It will give more Louis more time to crawl. Okay, great. Your prey. Wow, that's it. Why do you think you're praying? Okay. Gee, thanks, Arlu. Oh, I know what prey is. Yes, I do think that. But no, it is our fault. Who preys on you? Everyone. This is Everyone except for you. But it is a good okay. Alright. Yes, I know this is your home. I don't care about the dang... Oh, gosh. Maybe it's important. Okay. Is it because you guys don't have bones, maybe? Remove a limb? Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Kratani? Oh, maybe this isn't your home world. You don't have to run. Man, these guys are annoying. And I thought the dwindle looking guys were annoying. They weren't dwindle, but whatever. There we go. Oh my gosh, I finally got through to them. <laughs> I don't always trust me either. I don't think a ploy works if you tell the person it's a ploy. Alright, what is it? M tech there? Okay. All right, great. Do you have any ships? Okay, so they're slow. All right, cool. We'll just. Oh, am I gonna get a cloaking device? Cool. Now where's this planet I'm going to? Thanks, Gloosh. Hey, that looks like a, um. Is that a gold world? Let's check it out. It's not a gold world, is it? Oh, it has gold. Ah, let's take a little thing. So I've got to check to make sure when I upload this. But I'm guessing it might just be 2020. Anything cool going on now? Space cars? Space food? People go to Mars yet? All right. On this world, I didn't even pay attention to what he said the world name was. Hopefully it's marked. It is marked. Good deal. These are all Gloosh ships. Let's go to Creed more. That reminds me, I want to watch Creed 2. Ooh, this one's worth a little money too. Nice easy landing. Didn't they say they're dangerous? Oh, there are creatures here. They don't look too dangerous, though. I'll take that Argon. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I have to go to, like, a star base to change out my laser that I have to a stun laser. So, I'll just try to avoid all the creatures. I don't know if this blue stuff is worth it. I'm pretty sure it's actually not. I think the super fluids, the pink stuff, is the only thing really worth it. So we'll check that out after we check this out. Captain, we found something here. A pile this of rocks. Is probably what the gloosh we're talking about. It's you say so. But it's incredibly well camouflaged. Yes, I want a cloaking device. 
like it's not just hidden within the landscape it's actually part of the landscape or the landscape is part of it i it's saw weird. this in star trek now not sure this place exists heck i'm not even entirely sure landscapes exist dude really Pretty powerful cloaking tech that's for sure it's weird though it's like someone has picked through all this already. yeah the gloosh wait there's something else a device with a map of the planet okay this can see through the cloaking technology. Nice. Now it looks like there's a cloaked ship on the other side of Ooh, the planet. Oh yeah. Wait, it's taking off now. Can you? Damn it. We're coming back to the ship now. Let's Are try you? to catch it. Okay. Doesn't look like you're coming back to the ship now at all, does it? Looks like you're gonna get me some super fluids first. Now you're coming back to the ship. Yeah, Captain, we ain't catching that thing. Whatever that was, it was fast. I wonder what they're doing here. Watching the gloosh? They don't seem that important. No. Dang it. Thing I noticed, that looked a lot like a Lexi vessel, Captain. Okay, well, let me Assuming it wasn't doing anything tricky. It left this system on a course for Caster. I can't tell if it's Caster A or B. Maybe we should go there next. Okay, well, let's see what Caster A and Caster B are. Can I their search function? There is. Oh, close. Okay, let's go. No, I'm going to go with Caster B. Because everyone expects you to go to Caster A first. So, I'm going to outsmart them and go to... Oh, Caster B's the closer one. Darn it! I'm going to pretend to outsmart them. Well, let's see if there's anything here. Uh, darn it. Caster A it is! You thought y'all could distract me with Caster B being in the way. I think the Le I don't even remember who the Lexites are. We're detecting a faint energy signature from one of the planets. A crushed ship, I think. Oh boy, but they're coming for me. Ooh, gold planet. These gold planets are annoying. They make a lot of money, but Ooh, there's an unidentified object down there too. Let's see what we get. Oh, there are enemies here. Try not to die me. These enemies are not even worth fighting because they are. N oh god! Holy! Oh good! That didn't even hurt. Now where's this crashed ship? See, look, 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 look. Yeah, it takes way too many shots. Luckily, they haven't been able to hurt me yet. Where's the freaking square, man? There's too many things on this planet. All I want is a square. Now, if I keep going, I'm going to have to run into it eventually, right? There it is. Haha, -ha, loser. Found a mouling ship here, Captain. Looks like these guys tried to land it upside down. Oh my or gosh. they just badly messed up a regular land. <laughs> Knowing these guys, it could have been either. We'll see if there's anything here we can use. Are they dead? We're just going to take their stuff? Okay, I guess we're just going to take their stuff. Escape, escape, yes. Woo. All right, that is not... Huh, the interceptor is intercept not intercepting us. Yeah, you better run away, interceptor. What about the other interceptor? That one intercept us? Yeah, that one's coming to intercept us. Ah, now they're both coming. Guys, friends, what's up? Oh. Are you the Lexites? Oh, not totally wrong. oh, this is going to be a fun conversation, but at least they're talking at normal speed. You know so little about us. Yeah, I know even less than you think, dude. Oh, wait, there's probably a codex. Doesn't that embarrass you? Wait, what? Do humans know shame? 
Not me. Let it, like sites burned into her. You personally will never find out. So that sounds like a threat. We are not the survivors. That definitely sounds like a threat. We believe in survival. Friend? Alright, now I am at least 70% sure that is a threat. Okay, I guess we're going with Earthship, because Earthship's awesome. <sighs> nice try, Lexites. Yeah, we're going to the end, because we're going to have to fight another one soon. All right, I guess we'll move. I'm out of energy. This guy's out of luck, because he's about to get hit by a nuke. Come on, hit him. Aw, oh, man, I missed twice. Oh, I hit the second time. Captain, the other one's moving into attack, too. And there's more of them coming. You survived one battle. Why, yes, we did. I am reasonably sure we will. Like at least 70%. Oh, man. They are maneuverable, which hurts my weapon. I just wait for them to keep running into... That one actually hit me. Oh, look. Jewel planet. Wasn't I just on that jewel planet? Oh, get away from that purple stuff. It sucks my energy, I think. Yeah, it does. Ah, oh, man. Wow, that's pretty far. That's too far. That's too bad. How did my laser not have enough energy? It don't take that much energy. Go around, go around. Oh, yeah, that's going to hit. That's going to hit, right? That's going to hit. Nope, didn't have the range. Oh, boy. And it is just a waiting game. And I'm good at waiting games. I think I just said I'm good at waiting games. Like weight games. Bam! Yeah, that's right, loser. Get out of here, you're taking damage. Alright, go for number two. Fight to the end, man. Apparently we're gonna have to fight a bunch of y'all. Oh gosh, right there. Oh, I can't go through the shield. That's the problem. That's alright, he's dead. Okay, can we not fight again? So much power. Borrowed from how many alien races. Disgusting. Can you make nothing? Yeah, these guys are really judgy considering they attacked us first. I don't know what that means. But here we go again. Ooh, that's a bigger ship. Let's see how you do. that last one that's all right good too you got a shield and a nuke eh, ain't that cute can't mess with earth I and mean, we may not have invented artificial gravity but you can't fight with earth well you can fight with you can't beat us come on man we defeated the scry oh wrong way oh man I should have actually gone through it. Dang it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's right. Only one more. Oh, you're running away? Yeah, you better run away. Actually, I'm going to go take this planet. All right, I guess I'm going to take you. You think? We don't have to fight, dude. But I guess we're going to. Dang it. Dang it. The airship is really good. I mean, dang, I didn't do as much damage as I thought I was going to do. Let's get a little closer. Bam, that'll hit. That'll hit, and he's done. Now, let's not run into these rocks because they kill people. Sadness. Yeah, we've already gone this far. In for a penny, in for a pound. Space pound, I guess. Ooh, that's a big ship. 
Dang it, missed. That one should hit. Oh no, it's not too far away. Okay, stop running away there, Bubba. There you go. There you go. Don't hit the planet. All right, yay! We made some money. So was that the Lexites? I don't think it was. It Might have been. Like their ships, but they've never been that hostile. Wait, why is there still a marker on the other planet? Weird. We should investigate that world. Yeah, you think? Yeah, there's some good stuff on here. I think it's just the acetate and the protactium and an alien structure, of course. Oh, that all landed good. I'm good. Are there any enemies on here? Nope. Cool. Hopefully this. Oh, that's a lot of whatever that is. Got a building here, Captain. Gee, this thanks. Is the answer to every question we've ever had. Twenty-three. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Ugh. There are several glowing energy fields here. Sorry, glowing and humming. Nice. This feels different than the precursor technology we've seen, but it might be about the same level of technology. Interesting. Unless I'm looking at an alien fireworks show, this appears to all be a lot higher tech than those ships we just bought. Interesting. Which means either this doesn't actually belong to the Lexites, or whoever we just fought was toying with us. I don't know. Captain, I found a Lexite here, dead. Interesting. This is a real one. I'm sure of it. I remember seeing this model all over the place back What away. is a Lexite? This poor guy was tortured. Oh, that's not There's good. There's more. This looks like a hyperdrive with markings in English. What? I don't see how humans could have made this, Captain. At a glance, this looks far higher tech than we've ever seen before, even amongst aliens. Oh, go well, humans. We're the best. Going with us. We should tell the Gloosh about this, Captain. They might want to know more about these mysterious aliens who were watching them. Really? Them? And that's everything here. We'll go now. Alright, cool. Um, let's go ahead and get some Gamor Astatane. I'm pretty sure this red stuff's worthless. Not worthless, but almost worthless. So, let's see. But we'll grab that one and then we'll get out of here. At least gravity's not too high, so I can actually jump. This one should be most of it, and it is. Let's get out of here and go tell the Gloosh. Yo, Gloosh-y. Where was your home world? It's not on here. Where's the Gloosh? Ah, you stink. Oh, wait, is there... There's a codex. Is there a search function? Aliens? Anthropology? Looking for the Lexites. Is it a search? Really? Nah, eh, whatever. Why are these the only aliens there are in here? I've met more aliens than that. Whatever. Oh, here we go. Database lookup. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Why does this plant, why does Caster A1 still have, what's on here? A crash modeling ship. I guess, whatever. Come back here if I need to. Let's go ahead and talk to them, wherever they were. I don't even know where they were. Nope. 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 Wait, what? What? I didn't do that yet either? This is a weird game. Captain's log? Creed more. Right? Yeah. Alright, Creed more. Off we go to Creed more. There's a lot of running around and fetching in this game. And I mean, I have some minor complaints, but it's not bad. I like the writing. That's definitely my favorite part about the game. It's definitely worth a playthrough. Oh, I totally want to try out another game, though. Friend or dude I saw on... What's it called? 
what is it called? Dude, I saw on Twitch suggested I try Kingmaker, Pathfinder game. I know very little bit about Pathfinder. I played one game. As a matter of fact, I played Pathfinder before I played 5e. So that was something. And it was all right. I enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun. Killed a skeleton. Was a druid. Had a pet wolf. It was fun. All right. No. The children to the front. Their organs are tastiest. How would you know that? All right. They seem to have some sort of connection to us. Wish we were alone. Oh my gosh. Jeez, man, these guys are lazier than I am. Hey, I got an ally. Alright, cool. Out of here, dude. Let's see. Let's do one more thing. And then we'll... I don't know. We'll just do whatever... Wait. Ear... Ear thirst? Alright, where is it? How far? That's pretty far. Alright. Let's just do this instead. We don't have enough fuel to get there? Well, there ain't no place around here to pick up flu full. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to deal with the Tywin again. Oh no. How much fuel do I have left? I wonder if these guys can give me fuel. Hey, buddies! You have any fuel? No, I just want. Okay. They knew more about the universe. They come in exhausting. Sorry, this guy just goes way too slow in conversation. So I'm just going through this first. Aw. What happened to him? All right, enough of this. Wait, what is going on? I am gonna. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see. Too far away. 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 Maybe, yeah, definitely too far away. Too far away. Too far away. I'm going to have to just run out of fuel, I guess. <sighs> well, unfortunately, there's not much we can do, dude. I mean, that's my own fault for not paying attention to the fuel. God, I wonder what's going to happen here. I don't think it's going to be good. Someone's going to have to come save us. Last time it was a tie worm, and that was not pleasant for anybody. I guess we're about to find out who's going to save us now. Maybe we can just coast the rest of the way there. We're not that far. You can't coast, apparently. Okay, so... There's a ship coming. We ran out of fuel, Captain. We're sending a oh no, it's them again. Dang it, they're gonna tow me all the way back to Earth. Look, I'm well, I'm not even halfway there. Doesn't really matter. Uh, that's not the Taiwan. Hey guys, what's up? Hello, human. What do you want? You have met the Gloosh, we see. We have. Was the visit enlightening? Did you pick up what we put down? No, the other guys got it. Oh, very well done. The aliens watching the Gloosh are dangerous. 
Yeah, they are. Not so alien, in fact. You are uncertain. They what are Lexites? The Lexites from your oh, wait, they're from my world. But different, too. Well, we can help clarify Please do! This. They are not your Lexites. They're your Lexites? But there is a... Relation. You will learn more in time. Hey, you got any spare it fuel? It's important that you begin thinking about this problem now. If I knew what Lexites were, maybe I could. Your move so slow. You need the head start. Good luck, human. Thanks. We'll speak again. Okay, thank you. Any fuel? Wait, that's it? That, no, it can't be. Oh, gosh. This is gonna be horrible. I apologize for what's about to happen. I wasn't paying attention to my fuel, man. I thought I had people that would do that for me. Oh boy. Hey, best friends. Did you run out of fuel again? Yeah. <laughs> you are bad at space. Hey, what are you talking about? We beat the scribe. Sorry it took us so long to get here. What? Nice work surviving. Thanks. Yeah, we are pretty great. Not so great at filling your fuel tank. <laughs> Good one. So, seeing as you're completely immobilized. Oh boy. You want to hang out for a bit? No. Can you help us out? Would you like to listen to some of our fan fiction <laughs> first? No, I don't want we to. We've seen all of your shows and have a lot of great ideas where to take some of them next. Oh, really? Such as? Too late. I've already started. <laughs> I want to hear this. The alien ship turned in space and then did a roll upside down. Everyone gasped. It was going to get away. I can do this, Ensign Merkwim thought to himself. I, I guess you're Ensign Merkwim. He also said. <laughs> Grasping the controls with his hands, he turned I knew the it. Enterprise in space <laughs> and then rolled it upside down. Everyone gasped again. Why? That was the craziest damn thing I've ever seen, you big beautiful bastard! The captain exclaimed. All right, that's enough of that. Oh, fine. We don't have enough fuel to just transfer over to you. Because if we did, okay, we whatever. You don't answer that. What we got it. Let's go back to Earth. Whoa. Oh, we're on Earth. Where are we? Let's see if Earth has anything for me, because honestly, gosh, there are a lot of ships here on Earth. I don't... Oh, oh, a Terran freighter. That's one of ours. It's in my way, Captain, though. we're getting a message from Commander Megara at Deep Horizons. He has something he needs to discuss. Oh, good. Maybe it isn't over yet. Hey guys, uh, nice seeing you. God, how I need more fuel tanks. I need more fuel tanks. I thought that seemed really short for a main story. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but... Welcome back, Captain. Oh, thanks. Hey, we got a hyperdrive for you. You do have a pretty interest, but it's what we need. If you don't want that one on your ship, you can tr just remember you'll have to replace it with something else. Yeah, let's go to the shipyard. Buy items. Fill me up. Gosh, how did I waste all that spill? Did I get something? I got some stuff. My goodness, I got a lot of stuff. I guess I'm not selling my Argon or my Degenerate Matter. Lander Armor Mark II. I should put that on my Lander. What is an ink? Mysterious hyperdrive. I want to put that in. Alright. Let's go back to the shipyard.
I can't put in the mysterious hut. Yeah, I can. Oh, what can I put in here? That's already on my ship. Oh yeah, let's just change the things around. AI fleet coordinator, don't care about that. Tractor coercion computer? Yeah, I can only need that. Ooh, can I change my ar lander armor? I got lander mark II armor in. Oh well. Got a lot of money at least. I'm space rich. Anything else, Captain? Let's go see what that guy wants, then we'll be off. Go get him, Captain. Whoever or wherever M might be. Nope, let's go. Alright, let's see what they want. It's hard to see, but our little space station is right here. It's so small and cute. Look at it. Gosh, it's tiny. Oh. Captain, thanks for coming. You're welcome. Star Control has been discussing this station's recent encounters with the Kazanti and the general state of the region following the Scribe War. Yeah. We have come to the conclusion that this star base, and indeed all future human outposts... Man, you guys haven't made any progress on this at all. As humanity's ambassador, we would like you to approach some of the friendly... Oh my gosh, that's not main storyline. I want main storyline. ...the defense of humanity's outpost here. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. Of course, if getting our allies involved at this early stage, the most important of which... Is that we can show humanity is not I get it, whatever, you politician, you. ...in the process with some of the friendlier... ...and not the, uh... ...emissaries will soon be arriving from some of the local civilizations... Oh, they're gonna come here? Their ships should be entering the system shortly, Captain. Ah, oh, really? We'd like you to talk to them. All right, well, give me some fuel first. I don't want to run out of fuel again. That's the worst thing that could ever happen. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, I think I'm going to cut this right here. Hope you enjoyed this video. I do enjoy playing this game, but I really hope that's not it. I'm going to be kind of disappointed. I'll look it up and let you guys know. Well, you'll know if there's another part like this in a week. Have yourself just an amazing day.